With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, I am your teacher for this question and question is 6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 mole of K2Cr2O7 reacts completely with 9 into 10 raised to power minus 3 mole of Xn positive to give XO3 negative and Cr3 positive. The value of N is. So here we are given 6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 mole of potassium dichromate which reacts with the 9 into 10 raised to power minus 3 moles of Xn positive to give XO3 negative and chromium 3 positive and we have to calculate the value of N. So writing the equation first as K2Cr2O7 which reacts with Xn positive it gives XO3 negative and Cr3 positive. So First talking about when K2Cr2O7 changes to Cr3 positive. The oxidation state of chromium here is, we can calculate it as, the oxidation state of potassium is plus 1, for 2 potassium atoms it will be 2. For 2, uh, we will assume the oxidation state of chromium be x, so for 2 it will be 2x and for one oxygen atom it is minus 2 so for 7 it will be minus 14 and the overall compound is neutral so the charge will be 0 so 2x minus 12 and 2x is equal to 12 so x will be plus 6 it means the oxidation state of chromium on one chromium atom is plus 6 and here it is plus 3 and there are two chromium atoms so we will balance it as two chromium atoms here for one chromium it is plus 6 so the charge will be plus 12 on the left hand side and the charge on the right hand side is plus 6 so to balance the charge we will add six electrons here so the negative charge of six electrons will balance the charge so here the number of electron transfer takes place is 6 so we can write valency factor for the conversion of K2Cr2O7 to Cr3 positive is 6. 6 electrons are exchanged. Now for Xn positive to convert to XO3 negative, Xn positive when it changes to XO3 negative, here the oxidation state is N and here we can calculate the oxidation state on x let's suppose it as small x and for one oxygen atom it is minus 2 so for three oxygen atom it will be minus 6 and the charge on the compound is minus 1 so x will be minus 1 plus 6 it will be plus 5 so here the electron transfer is 5 minus n so valency factor is when Xn positive changes to XO3 negative is 5 minus N electrons. Now we have to calculate the value of N. So when K2Cr2O7 reacts completely with this mole of Xn positive, we will write the number of equivalents of K2Cr2O7 will be equal to number of equivalents of Xn positive and the number of equivalents is equals to moles into valency factor moles into valency factor so here the number of moles given for K2Cr2 is 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 and for Xn positive, the number of moles are given as 9 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So, we can write here 6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 into its valency factor we have calculated above is 6. And the number of equivalents for Xn positive, its moles are given as 9 into 10 raised to power minus 3 into its valency factor that is 5 minus n. So, now on rearranging this 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 we will take 9 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 
on the left hand side it is equal to 5 minus n so now they are cancelled and it will be equal to 36 by 9 which is equals to this so 9 fours are 36 so we will have 4 is equal to 5 minus n and n will be 5 minus 4 that is equal to 1 so n is equal to 1 for this reaction so i hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today